Welcome to Native Engineering. This is the fourth lesson on stress, strain, and Young's modulus, engineering science and four. On this lesson, we will be focusing on an exercise with regards to shear stress. The question that we are doing, it's a question that I've taken from my question paper, from my test book, sorry, and it reads as follows. Two stripes of metal are pinned together by a rod with a diameter of 8 millimeters. In brackets, see figure 6.28. The minimum force required to break the pin is 20 kilonewtons. And then the questions. Number A, they say, calculate the maximum shear stress of the pin. Number B, they say, calculate the tensile stress on the plate if the plate is 30 millimeter wide and 15 millimeters thick so this is the information that we are given first we are given a diagram like this and then we are given this information the force that is acting on this pin at 20 kilo kilonewtons and then the diameter of the pin is 8 millimeters. And then they also gave us the area of the blade. And then first they say we must calculate the shear stress on the pin. We know that if the pin now breaks, it will break at the center. And we will end up having a, 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 an area which is like this. We say that's where our pin is going to share. And then now to calculate the shear stress, we know that shear stress is equal to force divided by area. Since we are calculating the shear stress of the pin, we will focus on the area of the pin. We know the force is 20 times 10 to the power 3. And then the area will be the area of the pin with a diameter of 0 0.08. 0 0.08 squared and then that will give us a shear stress of three nine seven point eight eight seven mega pascal and then we go to our second question the b part of the question they say we must calculate the tensile force on the blade given uh, the area as 30 times 15. So we know that the tensile, the tensile uh, stress will be force divided by area. The force is still the same as 20 kilonewtons. The area, the area now that we are using because we are looking for a tensile stress and we are looking for a tensile stress that will develop on the plate. We have to use the area of the plate because we know that the area that we are dealing with is this. It will be something like it's not this precisely, but it will be something. It will be something like this. And we are given this as thirty by fifteen. So we will say zero point zero three times zero point zero one five. And then we are going to get an answer of 4, 4.444 megapascal. And then we will look at a second exercise which reads like this. In figure 6.29, the shear stress in the pin of a coupling must not exceed 40 megapascal. The diameter of the pin is 6 millimeters. Calculate the maximum mass that may be lifted by the device with this coupling. So this is what we are given. We are given the diameter and we are given the stress, which is the stress that this device must not exceed. Now. We know that if this pin, since our main focus is in the pin, since let's make a cross section here.
if this pin will share it will share in this position and in this position what does that tell us this tells us that we are dealing with two areas when we calculate the area we are going to say times two the area of the pin why because there is a, a certain amount of force that is needed to share in this position and that force must be doubled if now we have two areas therefore we must include the two areas so that we are able to get the correct answer to to get the correct force or the correct amount of answer that we will be looking for when we are now dealing with two areas and then here they said we must calculate the mass that can be lifted by this device we know that the shear stress is equals to the force divided by the area do we have the force no we don't do we have the area we can calculate this we have the diameter do we have shear stress yes we do so the force is the only thing that we do not have we have the shear stress it's 40 times 10 to the power 16 is mega times the area what is the area our area is equals to pi divided by 4 and then the diameter is 0 0.006 squared but what did we say we said the area must be times 2 because we are the, because our device will share in two areas which is this one and this one so now the answer for this formula for this equation will be 2.262 times 10 to the power 3 newtons this is the force but they didn't ask us to calculate for the force they said we must calculate for the mass one thing we know is that force is made up of the weight uh, it's made up of, of mass times the gravitational acceleration which is g do we have the force yes what are we looking for the mass do we have the gravitational for, uh, uh, gravitational acceleration always so we make m the subject of the formula what is uh f f is 2.262 times 10 to the power 3 divided by 9.81 no we will say 9.8 we know that the gravitational acceleration is always 9.1 it doesn't change it's a constant and then we get our weight our mass sorry which will be 230.816 kg this is what they are uh, asking us to calculate don't calculate for the force and then say force was the only unknown on the equation therefore i will get the max no this is what they have asked because they said you must calculate for the mass we know that mass can be derived out of the force therefore we will calculate the force and then calculate the mass using the gravitational acceleration from me to you that is basically the end of our lesson i will see you on the next lesson